So it's day 128. This is where we stayed last night. This is the Lake of the Clouds uh, hut. It's a Appalachian Mountain Club hut. They've got a bunch of huts here. Um, really a beautiful spot. We, we were able to watch the sunset right, right over this mountain here. Now here's something that's interesting. We're watching the sunrise over Mount Washington, and it's just slightly socked in. But it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to the the clouds are supposed to clear out today. Um, I don't know in another two hours. So and that's the top of that's like 6,200 feet, and most of the mountains around here are right around 4,000. So it's gonna be a nice climb. But uh, there's someone out here who just said that he's been here 12 times and has never seen Mount Washington in the morning because <laughs> it's always socked in. And actually, I, I, there's some video that we took um, maybe a week or two weeks ago uh, from the top of the lookout. And um, when you look at Mount Washington from there, you definitely can't see it. Did you hear the breakfast call? Yay, breakfast is served. We're doing work for stay, so so what that means is we have to stick around till 9.30. We stayed here last night for free, ate like pigs as well, and then um, we're going to we're going to uh, help them clean up a little bit. I'll probably do some dishes, that's my thing. And then We'll get on the trail. We're only going 10 miles today, so we're going to hike over the top of Mount Washington and then go down for about five or six miles, and that's it. And then tomorrow we're going into... Oh, I can't remember the name of the town. Everyone keeps talking. Gorham. We're going into Gorham for resupply. So, anyway, see how today turns out. Where I slept last night was right here on the floor. Made myself a nice little spot, a little nest. And then for work for stay, we just had to clean these rooms. There are these cool little bunk rooms. This is where people stay who are part of the Appalachian Mountain Club. They get a little bunk. They're all really nice, every one we've been to. So if you join the club or you want to stay here, these are like 135 a night, and they come with breakfast. And um, come with breakfast and dinner. And the people here take, the people who run these huts take really good care of you. This is really cool too, and you really can't see it from here, but maybe I'll show you from the other the other room. But you can see where they're they keep all their propane and their um their compost from the toilet system. They have a like a clivus, I think it's the Moltrum system. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, this place has been awesome. We stayed here last night and we're just about to go do our Mount Washington climb. And then we're gonna call it um, call it a day. Climb over Mount Washington and then hang out. Uh, hang out like 10 miles from here. And then tomorrow we'll go into Gorham and then kick this thing in the butt and be done. Hopefully, be done with the trail in the next several weeks. Every time we look at our calendar, it looks like we're going to be on for another four weeks, which has been really nice through through the whites.
Well, we're about at the top of Mount Washington. And crazy enough, the wind is calm. <laughs> Which means there's like two mile per hour winds. It's one of the windiest places on earth. According to one of the signs, the highest speed winds in the United States come through here. Strange to think we hiked all the way through this far valley, way out to those far peaks. No wind at all. They're trying to get it through, I think. Yeah. Here's our next mission. We're going to be hiking around these four peaks that are in front of us over here. And we got to get down this huge, like, scree field, too, which is super sketchy Pretty cool, huh? Hey! Look at everybody waving. Wow. Mount Adams right there it's a big old mountain we're gonna end up going around it I think here to the left you can kind of see where the trail is down the hill there
So we're up on the peak of Madison. I think this is Madison, Mount Madison. down to the campground. Man, that's a big old ridge. Yeah, it, um, <sighs> it's gonna take you some time to get, it's pretty uh, pretty steep at some parts getting down there. Honestly, it might even say three hours. Okay. Well, on that note, I am gonna check out this ridge we're about to walk down. You might see a little red dot on that peak, that's Smash. goes way down there and then we're camping almost down in the valley. <laughs> Kind of see Smash walking down that far peak right now. There's Nibbles. So straight off the end of this peak, there's a huge mountain out there. We're gonna go and stop in Gorham tomorrow and resupply. Then we gotta climb up to the top of that ridge and then follow that ridge all the way down to where it runs down into the ground, past that that reservoir over there. That's like 20 some odd miles. So we're gonna do that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, hopefully. Maybe even one more day in there. Um, maybe even to Wednesday. And then we're gonna be in Maine. Maine's pretty close to, to the other end of this. And the town we're stopping in tomorrow is just right down here. It's called Gorham. You can access it from the end of the, So that's called the Carter Ridge. You can access it from the Carter Ridge. And we're just gonna catch it right down where that little town is at the bottom. We're gonna catch a ride and then stay in town and resupply. It's just a really, really long downhill. We talked to some lady from California who just hiked up here. She flew in yesterday and she said this was the longest. She said she's done the Everest approach trail. And she said this is the longest uphill she's ever done because of all the rocks. It is pretty treacherous. It's just been like this all day.